Okay, it totally cut me off, but that's okay because now it's in two sections. <laughs> um, I have patterns here. Like let's say you have, uh, this is all stuff you can just do with stuff you have at home. Like what if I said pencil, pen, pencil, pen. What would I put down next? Can they say put down a pencil? Can they create their own pattern too? That would be really cool. Days of the week and months of the year, just see if they can remember the song or you can help sing it with them. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Or remember there's the other, um, the monsters one, the, well, there's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. And then the months of the year, January, February, March, and April. And as they're singing it, if they're saying it, I cross it off. And if they skipped one, I just let it be. May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December, 12 months in a year. All right, there's the shapes, I already went over. Again, it's really repetitive. If you've already done the letters, and the names of the letters or the sounds with the other packet, don't do it again unless they're totally into it. Geometric solids, we didn't really go over. We did talk about a sphere because a sphere is just a ball or the planet Earth is a sphere and you can find those around your house. I can't, right now I don't see, but you know, a cube is just like a three-dimensional square. A cone is like an ice cream cone, pyramid, cylinder, ellipsoid. These are Montessori things. Like an example of a rectangular prism is this. Because see, it's a rectangle and, and it's a rectangular prism because it's three dimensional. Seriously, don't worry about that. Have them write their name. I wanna see that they're writing in the lines. Like for example, starting at the top to bottom. And then can they do lowercase? Or are they doing all uppercase? So the goal would be that they're doing the one uppercase and the rest in lowercase, but it's just really good to have as an example for the future. And writing their numbers, I wanted them to write to 10. Some children need to see the numbers, so I write it above up here. And then I say, here it is, here's number one. Can you write number one? And look again, are they using the correct pincher grasp? Are they starting at the top and going down top to bottom? Are they doing a finger space in between each number so they're not all mushed together? Don't correct them. Just pay attention and just have it. This is all just for you to know, and it's not for teaching right now, okay? I can't stress that enough. Um, this is if you want to practice lowercase and see if they know the names of the letters and if they know the sounds, that would be cool too. Again, numbers again. Now this is, for an example, like let's say I have a basket and then I have a rock. Okay, so it'll say like in front of, can you put the rock in front of the basket? And you want to put it in front of the basket. Can you put it behind the basket? And maybe they'll put it back here. Next to the basket, above the basket. So they would hold it above, below the basket. They would put it below, inside the basket outside the basket. It's just ways for them to understand those prepositions and just, you know, placement, object placement. Again, just say it and then cross it off if they do it. Do they know their right hand? Tell them to raise their right hand and then cross it off if they can. Don't correct them though. This is the fun part, my favorite part. My friends are, this is where you just ask them, who are your friends? And then you write it down for them. Don't say anything. Don't like mention someone maybe they forgot. Just write down what they say. Who is in your family? Just write down what they say. If they skip someone, oh well, just it's just for them to, you want their exact wording. When I grow up, I want to, what do you want to do? Do you want to be somebody? Do you want to go somewhere? What do you want? I want to learn more about. That's always a fun one my favorite job in the classroom but your home is the classroom now so you could even say that what's your favorite thing to do at home your favorite job like 
in here, they draw their family. And just watch them go, think about who's in your family and try to draw everyone that's in your family. Okay. Now this I use a lot. It helps me to see how they've changed throughout the year. You can just have this to look at and to really think about things that teachers are looking for and things that help. And if you wanna take notes, you totally can just for yourself. Self-care, how do they use the bathroom? Can they properly use a tissue and then throw it away? Do they cover their cough? Can they put on their jacket? Group time, which is kinda doesn't make sense right now, but do they sit safely without being in other people's space? Are they good listeners? Do they participate? Do they participate in music? Do they do movement? How do they separate from their parents? How do they separate from like, let's go, we're time to go in the classroom or it's time to leave and go to the store now. Like, how are they doing that? How do they transition? Um, lunch, are they good at waiting for everyone to have their turn? How do they eat? Do they eat everything? Do they clean up when they're done? Grace and courtesy, can they walk in a line without grabbing onto other people? Um, do they have good spatial body awareness? Do they bump into things or do they walk pretty fluidly throughout in between? You can even set up like walk in between the couch and go touch the front door and come back and have see if they can do it without bumping into anything. Do they have good eye contact is a huge one for me. Um, it's just something that's polite and it's very important and it's important that you show them good eye contact so they can learn too that they look at you when you're talking, that they look at other people when they're talking. Um, empathy, you know, if they accidentally smush a bug, do they have like, do they feel bad or do they have empathy for others? If they see someone's hurt, do they go over and help them? Do they care for other friends or family members and are they respectful? In playground, large motor skills, social skills, safety and creative play, it's always nice to see how creative they are. Some kids only like to play with the balls and other kids only stay at the um, monkey bars and others only stay in the sandbox. So it's kind of neat to see like, oh, I noticed they never go down the slide. These are just good for you to have for notes. Again, something I created, it's kind of about Montessori, but I like to know if a child, how coordinated a child is. Do they have good concentration? Do they have a sense of order? Are their toys just everywhere or do they like line things up and it can also be a sense of order throughout the day are they do they have to have things in a specific order or are they very flexible and how independent are they can they work alone or do they always need someone to play with them or work with them like can they do things on their own teacher goals parent goals okay I think that's it wait there's one more page here Oh, I think I have them do their self-portrait here, a picture of their face or their whole body. Okay, that was a lot. It was a lot, a lot, a lot. And so I just want you guys to know that the, the things that I would like you to get back to me by the, um, I guess by like the end of next week would be great, is if they know their numbers and what numbers they're working on and um, if they know their letters, which is unfortunately... That's way in the back and I didn't put that in the front. So, so their letters, their letters and their numbers and their rhymes. And you can just take a picture when you're done because I'll understand what it is or you can just email me your thoughts or you can call me or text me, whatever you wanna do. So you do not have to turn this back into me. This is for you to keep, but just to help you kind of go through it. It was a lot. So let me know if you have any questions um, and I guess that's it. Okay. I miss you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.